So we're at the point now where we want to start adding some custom logic to our application. So for example, we may want to be uh, adding a bid mutation and we may want to keep track of who has the highest bid on this auction. And then maybe we want to add some custom restrictions. For example, you only can bid every five seconds um, or you can do a maximum of 10 bids or something like that, you know? So with AppSync, it creates a lot of the CRUD operations for you. So I can create, read, update, and delete auctions and all the properties. And we added some authentication to it as well. So how do we add this sort of thing that I'm talking about where it's not really mapping to something where we have to custom make it? And so I was looking at how you can do that in AppSync and it looks like you can create some custom resolvers. So I was looking at what those would look like and I went to the AppSync console and AWS. And you can do this as well. You just go to AWS console and you go to the services and look up AppSync and click on your API. So in this case, I'm looking at the auth auction API. And here I can see kind of the stuff related to this. Here's the current schema. And if I scroll on the right over here of our resolvers, I can see if I scroll down to the bottom, some links and I can click on this thing called auction table um, and I can pick which one I want. So let's go ahead and just click one of these. So delete auction, for example, and I can see here's the code that is being used right now to delete an auction. Wow, this is actually way messier than some of the other ones. Um, I was actually not expecting this at all. Uh, take a look at, if I go to the schema, I haven't seen that resolver before, but I was looking at, I think some other ones are less messy. Maybe create auction. Um, no, that's still pretty messy as well. Anyway, so you see this is what it looks like to um, create a resolver or they call it a mapping template. Now, maybe I'm looking in the wrong place and there's an easier way to do this. Um, but basically what it looks like to me is there is a custom template language. Um, well, it's not custom. I believe it's from Apache when I was looking at the docs. Um, but there's this language that you create the resolver in. And so here's what it looks like for the create and we you saw the delete. Um, but this is basically a whole new language that you'll need to learn. And when I saw this, I pretty much lost interest automatically in that. Um, and for me, I'm just not really interested in learning a new template language for this sort of thing. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not really interested in trying to create custom resolvers with this. Um, and maybe there's an easier way to do it. I really would like to like, for example, just write some JavaScript. Um, like I understand why they would have to do a template like this because it's just text and they can kind of lock down what you can do. Um, but from the developer point of view, um, this is not, in my opinion, great developer experience having to learn this and then just coding in this. Um, maybe there's a way to set up something in like AppSync with lambdas. I know, I think you can hook up lambdas, but it's one of those things where I don't really want to create a lambda for every single um, resolver. Maybe there's a way to be able to uh, group several resolvers in a single lambda or something. That, that might be interesting. Um, the other thing is, I would really like this if this was like a GUI. Um, especially because AppSync is being targeted toward people that do not know um, backend or that are just mainly front-end developers. It'd be really nice if this was just like a GUI that I could go in and do stuff and like add logic back here. But as you can see, I'm not really interested in going through this stuff. And maybe this is more complex because we added authentication, but a lot of applications have authentication. So a lot of them are going to look like this. Um, so yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this. I pretty much um, am not interested in moving forward with the project and creating like custom logic with this, but maybe there's a better way than uh, creating their own versions of this. The other thing is, is they do have some sample templates, which is pretty nice. So here are some other ones and we can see, these are the ones that I was kind of looking at. They look a lot simpler. Um, so I'm not sure what it would look like for me to create kind of like some of the things that I wanted, but here are some other ones. Um, batch delete and whatnot um, and you can see they're a lot shorter but I guess they don't have authentication attached to them but anyway I'm curious if you guys know a better way than this um, other than that that's kind of my thoughts on AppSync and their resolvers not really interested in using this template language right now